Hello, female educators, reclaim your life. This is Debbie Eno from Teacher Success Coach, your coach, your mentor, and your transformational speaker. Right, um, what are you grateful for today? Daily gratitude and daily wins. It is so important that you demonstrate your gratitude. What you're grateful for today? What am I grateful for today? For life, the ability to see the possibilities. Um, to do things today that I didn't have time to do yesterday, to um, to celebrate today, to celebrate life, to celebrate, you know, so many beautiful things that, <laughs> sorry, that have taken place in my life today, to I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for the fact that I open my tap and I get nice hot water. I am grateful for life. There's so many things I'm grateful for. So educators, I want you to find what you're grateful for and celebrate it. Elaborate on it. Demonstrate your gratitude. Embrace it because there are lots, lots, lots to be grateful for. My win. One of the things I, you know, was my win today was I've gone back to a school that I've been in last week, my favorite, one of my favorite school. One of the things that I love about that school is it's in the middle of a park and I love greenery. The park is wonderful. This one I was running a bit late. Well, I got a 10 to 9. So it meant that I was running through the park and it was just so lovely running through that park. It's about five minutes from the bus stop and it was just lovely, you know, being in nature. Being in nature just, you know, just floats my boat. It just makes me so excited being in nature. I just love nature. Being brought up in the Caribbean, where you're surrounded by water and nature, that when you come to this country, when you see nature, you just appreciate even more. Because when you're in the Caribbean, you took it for granted. So here, you know, having nature around you, not very often, you just enjoy it and celebrate it. So that's one of my wins. Another win for me was... Um, I got to teach literature. I've not taught English lit for a long time. And it was so beautiful that I did um, two lessons. I think it's two or three. I think it's two. I can't remember. Lessons of English lit today. And it was lovely because I got the students to read. Then we were discussing the book. It was just such a fantastic session that the students learned from me and I learned from the students. So that was a win because the students really enjoyed it because they were talking about how they enjoyed the lesson, etc. So that was a real big win for me. Another win for me is I did maths as well. That's another thing I haven't taught for a long, long time. So that was another win because I really enjoyed the math session as well because we were doing, um, in one class I was doing um, ratios and in another one, I was doing um, circles, the areas of circles, etc. So that was really nice. So I really enjoyed that. So that's my win. I enjoyed it and the students enjoyed that. So those were some of my wins in the, for today as well. Um, it was just a beautiful session. And another of my win was, um, I forgot, I haven't taught year seven eight nine for a long time in the last year or in the last six or eight months i've been teaching year 10 11 12 and 13. it's only recent i've started teaching year 10 and 11. i've always taught in the last two years i've always taught year 12 and 13 because i felt that <coughs> sorry it was beneficial and i enjoyed teaching the older children However, that have been so different now having doing cover, doing daily cover or just cover. It made me realize that the year from year seven, eight, nine, <coughs> depending on the school, it's magical to teach these students. You get so much from them and they get so much from you because in the last few weeks, I've been teaching year seven, eight, nine ten i've very rarely taught here 11 12 and 13 because they've actually gone so a new set of students come in which is the new year 11. i taught new, ele new ele year 11 on tuesday so it was really really fantastic 
teaching the younger children. So I really got a lot out of it and I really, really enjoyed it. So that's some of my wins as well. The enjoyment of teaching the younger children. So in terms of my mindset have really shift in terms of my ability and wanting to teach the lower year group because in some of the schools I've been in, oh my goodness, it's a nightmare. But some of the schools I've been teaching in right now, it's been fantastic. So I'm actually thinking about, you know, am I going to consider for the next academic year teaching the younger children? I don't know. I just have to think about it because I'm really, really enjoying teaching the younger children. Okay, so those are the gratitude and those are the wins. I would also urge you to start a gratitude journal if you have not yet done that yet. So every day when you get up in the morning, what are you celebrating? What are you giving? What are you demonstrating gratitude about? You know, for. So those are the things you write in your journal. What you're grateful for in the morning. So that's what you, you know, celebrate. What are you celebrating? What are you, you know, giving, um, what are you praising in terms of the gratitude? And in the evening time, five things you're grateful for, which happens throughout the day. So that's the reason why I say keeping a gratitude journal can be very powerful because in the morning you identify five things that you are going to, five things that you're grateful for and you celebrate it, you give thanks for it. And in the evening time, five new things that you are grateful for that have taken place during the daytime. So those are the things you need to look at. And in terms of your win, you need to identify your wins for the day. In everybody's life, there are wins. Sometimes you have to look very deep to find it. But believe me, there are wins. You need to celebrate your wins. So that's what I want you to have a look at. What are your wins? Next week, I'm going to ask you guys to start drop, dropping them in the chat, you know, so that we actually have, you know, have a look at people's win and people's gratitude and we celebrate with them. So that's what I'm going to ask you to do for next week. So when we start it again on Monday. Something I put in the group yesterday, I think it's yesterday, yeah. What is the one thing in your life that takes most of your time, that takes up most of your time? If you're staying in your job, no, no. You need to change that. You need to start setting boundaries and you, just, you need to start finding something else. You need to start changing your mind shift. You know, you need to start changing your mind. You need to have a mind shift as to what you are going to allow to take up most of your attention and it should not be your job. It doesn't matter if you're working for yourself. You need to start setting boundaries. What personally I feel should take up most of your attention if you have a family should be your family or should be something that you like and you're celebrating. It could also be spending time with your pet, spending time with yourself, trying to know yourself. Those are the things you should be spending your attention on, not on work. If it is, as I said, I want you to have a look at it and start changing the whole setup of that and start changing what you spend most of your attention on, right? Your attention should be on yourself. Your attention should be on your family. Your attention should be if you've got a, a foreign a furry child, i.e. a pet. That's what you should be spending your, your attention on. Anyway, guys, I want you to reflect on that and reassess where your attention goes. Right, so that's what I want you to have a look at. Anyway, guys, have a fantastic evening, night, morning, wherever you are. Have a great evening. Have a great weekend. Thanks for listening. Stay blessed. Take care. Bye-bye.